In outdoor sports, there's an invisible line crossed that separates hobbyists from the obsessed. It's a little like love. It can come out of nowhere. But in an instant, there's tactile clarity. You stop seeing things for what they are and more of what they could be. When you're obsessed, it doesn't feel like work. It's desire. Purely a DIY, whatever it takes kind of drive. It's a space where there's no arena, no court, no playing field. Only terrain. Landscapes that require interpretation, full of subtleties that read like hieroglyphs, and translated by those that speak the language. As far back as I can remember, I've been in love with outdoor sports. I grew up doing them, always on the hunt for fun. The chase eventually drew me into photography and filmmaking. It's a natural fit to point your camera at things you know, and I quickly realized that action sports and camera work have a lot in common. They take you to unique locations. You wear a lot of hats. Composition is a must. Execution has to be sharp. Angles are critical, and peak action is the result of well-executed timing. When I'm working with the best, I need to be my best, which means my camera needs to be versatile and powerful in every way. There's a woven relationship that athletes and camera ops share. Sometimes you're making art, and other times, you're just having fun. Over time, these experiences become the blurred lines that make up who you are. The essence of photography and cinematography is rooted in sharing a memory. It's been said that if you don't have a camera on you, the next best thing you can do is explain how great the moment was. They turn fleeting into timeless. And it's why quality is so important to me. I want these memories to live on so they can keep being shared. I mean, what's more beautiful than that?